welcome back to my channel my name is Jeannie today I'd like to show you how I crocheted this beautiful um, bag made out of uh, raffia ribbon it's very cute so medium small medium sized bag okay this is how the bottom looks like single crochets down here double crochet throughout the body of the bag and um, I crocheted on these wooden handles that I found from on Amazon and then also this uh, gold chain from Amazon as well. I'll have everything linked below. And of course, I personalized it with a leather tag as well. It's very cute. It's an open concept bag. Um, you can easily put, you know, one of those metallic um, buttons. But I chose not to. But I fit quite a bit of things in here. I have, you know, my wallets, my key fob, even like a little makeup makeup bag and then of course my phone and sunglasses will fit easily in here but I've been using it uh, as a crossbody bag for most of the summer so I love it and I actually get a lot of comments about this as well you know when I'm in public so I don't know if you guys are interested in learning how I crochet this purse then please continue watching hi so for supplies uh, you will be needing one of these Rafia paper ribbon uh, like I said, I'll link all the things uh, in the description field uh, in the video. Um, of course, these are also um, optional, but the wooden handles and the chain I also got from Amazon. Okay, I'll link those. And then for the um, video, of, for the project, we're going to be using the 55 millimeter hook. Uh, one of these yarn needles and pair of scissors and of course this is also optional leather tag with the grommets okay let's begin all right so to begin we're going to make a slip knot onto your hook okay and we're going to be starting out with a foundation chain of 31 Here's my chain of 31. Okay, now next step is to do a single crochet into the second hook from the chain. That's one and two. So we're going to make a single crochet. Okay, and then we're going to continue down the foundation chain with one single crochet in each chain. Okay, there will be a total of 30 single crochets. So that's one. Okay, I'm on the 29th as a single crochet. I'm going to put my last one in here, the last chain, 30, okay. Now we're going to continue around this uh, uh, the other end of the foundation chain, but before we do that, I'm going to add two more single crochet into the same chain, okay. There you go. Now we're going to continue <clears throat> and uh, put one single crochet in each chain uh, down the uh, the other side of the foundation chain. We're basically creating the oval uh, base of the purse. Okay, so that's two. And as I'm going, I'm also um, crocheting in the uh, the tail, so you don't have to weave it in, which is very convenient. It do, uh, it does take a little bit of time to kind of get used to um, crocheting with this kind of material, but it's not bad overall. 
go ahead and continue um, all the way down um, to the other end and I will show you uh, the next step, okay? Okay, I have my last single crochet here. Okay, and then now to end this uh, round, you put two more single crochet into the first chain, okay? One, two. Okay, and now we're going to sing, uh, slip stitch into that first single crochet. Okay, slip stitch. All right, so this is the start of the base. Now we're going to uh, continue putting single crochets all the way around until we build the base you know, to about maybe uh, two inches. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start again. So we're going to chain one, and put a single crochet here. Uh, we're gonna put two in this one. So the reason is because um, we're going to be putting two single crochet into the rounded edge. So that would be a total of six single crochets on the rounded edges, okay? So since we're beginning with the first single crochet of this rounded edge, we're just gonna put two there first and then one single crochet all the way around. I mean, all the way down until we get to this end where there's three single crochets here. We're gonna put two in each chain around this edge, okay, to build it up. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. I meant to record this video like a few months ago, but uh, so many things got in the way and just didn't get the, around to uh, crocheting this particular video because this is more like a summer, spring uh, beach bag, beach purse. Um, but like I said, you can also uh, use that as uh, many other things. I'll show you um, another decor uh, thing I did for, with this piece as well. I'll insert a picture. Okay, so I'm here at the rounded edge. There's three crochets here, or single crochets here. So I'm gonna put two single crochet in each of these three. Again, we're only doing this on um, the other, um, the two ends, basically. And then just one single crochet in each chain uh, along the sides. That's five and six. Okay, okay, and then one single crochet in each chain until we get all the way down here to this end and we're going to be putting two single crochet into the last two chains right here. Okay, but we're going to put single crochet all the way along this line. But yeah, this oval base is turning out really nicely. Okay, there's still three chains left. I'm going to make one single crochet here. And the last two chains, um, I'm going to put in two, uh, some single crochet in each to complete this row. Okay, there's two and two more in this next chain. Okay. All right, now we're going to slip stitch to that first single crochet. All right, 
so that does complete this row so far. Now we're going to do an, one more row of the same thing. Now um, we're going to continue on with that same trend where we're going to be putting uh, two single crochet into uh, the rounded edge. Now um, for each rounded edge, we're, it's going to be, for this row, it's going to be uh, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me double check here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to start putting two single crochet into the next two chains. So that's one and two in the same chain here. Okay, two more in the next. Okay. And then one single crochet all the way until you get over here to this end. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if you want to not get confused, you can start uh, putting um, one of these clips in to know. So starting here is where we're going to start putting our two single crochet. Just um, to let you know. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the other end. Okay, so um, when we get to this end, we're going to start putting two single crochet into each, but in the meantime, everything is going to be one single crochet all the way across. Okay, and to mark this end, one, two, three, four, it's going to be this end right here. Okay. Alright, hopefully that doesn't confuse you too much. So one single crochet in each chain all the way down um, this row. Okay. Okay, I've reached this end. And I'll go ahead and remove that. And I'm going to start putting two single crochet into each chain around this corner. That's two. Four. Six. You should have a total of twelve by the time you reach here. Okay, there's two more. That's a total of 12 single crochet around this edge. So now we're going to continue on this side uh, of the row um, with single crochet into each chain until you reach here. Go ahead and continue uh, along until you reach down here and then uh, I'll come back. Okay, I've reached the end of this row right here. And now I'll go ahead and remove this. And I'm going to start putting two single crochet into the rest of the, uh, the chains here. There's about five left.
actually four. My bad, because we did put uh, two single crochets already uh, twice. So go ahead and slip stitch to that first single crochet. Okay, there's a slip stitch, and here is the base of the purse. It's a nice oval. Okay, so to begin the next round, chain two. Okay, okay, so I'm going to make double crochet into each chain. So we're, we're not doing the back loop only once anymore because I just figured that this will still fold upwards to build the body of the purse. So go ahead and make your double crochet through both chains. Okay, continue around and I'll meet you back here, okay? Okay, I'm on my last stitch. The final double crochet on this round is uh, 82 double crochet. Okay, now to end this round, we're going to slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. Okay, and there you go. Now we're just going to repeat this um, step again. We're going to chain two and put a double crochet in the same stitch and continue uh, putting double crochet into each stitch, into each chain all the way around, totaling 82 uh, double crochets. And uh, what I did was a total of 12, so I did a total of 12 rows until this, this last row is where we're going to add our wooden handles. So there will be a total of 13 um, rows, but I'm going to come back and show you um, when we get to row 13 on how I added these wooden uh, handles, okay? Okay, so go ahead and continue uh, with your double crochet, um, to making 12 rows, and then I will come back and show you how to do the wooden handles. Okay, so this is um, what I've crocheted so far. I ended up doing an extra row, so um, instead of 12 rows, I added an extra row because I felt like it needed the, the height. And we're going to be adding one more row, so it'll add a little bit more height. But this is how it looks. Look at the interior. Okay, so now this is the part where we're going to be adding the handles. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to kind of eyeball where the handles uh, would go. And this is when these... Um, stitch markers will come in handy. Okay. So, I'm kind of just going to eyeball this. So, this is This is probably where I want it. It's going to be centered. So, I'm going to mark where I'm going to start crocheting. So, I'm going to start right here. Just the opening of the wooden handles. So right here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's gonna be twelve chains in between. Okay, now I'm going to flip this around and kind of eyeball it as well and do the same thing. I'm gonna make it make it easier on myself and just do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so this is where I 
where I know I want the handles to be. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna flip this back over. I kind of unraveled that a little bit, so let me go ahead and redo my slip stitch. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to chain two. I'm going to zoom in real quick. Okay, so chain two. And I'm gonna put double crochets into each chain, okay? Until we get to this stitch marker. So yarn over and put a double crochet into that same stitch where you made the chain two. Like I said, the chain two does not count as a double crochet. And then again, double crochet in each chain, okay? Okay, so I've approached uh, the stitch right before the stitch marker. Now I'm going to remove the stitch marker. And this is what I do with these kind of handles. I'm not sure how anyone else does it, but this is what I do. So the handle's gotta be like this, but when I crochet, I'm gonna turn it this way so I can easily crochet uh, my stitches in there. And then once you're done with making your, your double crochet stitches all the way around, including this wooden handle then um and then continue crocheting around then this this wood handle kind of easily goes up like that because it's already enclosed in your stitches okay so now i'm going to hold my wooden handle this way yarn over and when you're making your double crochet continue putting your hook through just like that but then put your hook through this wooden handle as well. Grab your yarn and then continue making your double crochet. It's a little awkward at first, but you will get used to it. Okay, pull up, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, okay? The first one is probably going to be the hardest one, it's kind of awkward, but it will get easier, okay? So yarn over, put your hook through the next chain, okay, pull up. You know what, I'm going to change my hook because um, this thing is kind of getting in the way. That's probably what my problem is. I'll be right back. Okay, I changed out my hook. So I'm going to um, start over. I'm going to yarn over, okay, put my hook through that chain, and then through the wooden handle, okay, and then pull up. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, yarn over, next chain, I promise it will get easier. Almost done. Okay, one more. Actually, two more. Because the stitch marcher uh, does count to, uh, for the handle. So I'm going to take that off. And make one more double crochet through the hook. Just 
just like that. So having a, uh, a hook without, you know, that bumper thing helps for sure. Okay, so this is how it should look when it's folded up. Okay, so I'm going to fold it back down, but I will go ahead and continue and make my regular double crochet. until I reach to the other side where the first stitch marker is and then I'll include the uh, the handle as well same technique okay pretty simple and it looks it looks cute right see this is how it looks in the back okay I'm gonna continue around and then I'll come back and show you uh, and then we'll finish up the purse okay I got to the other end here's my first stitch marker. I'll go ahead and remove that. And I'm going to change out my hook again. And then grab the other wooden handle, fold it this way. Okay, like I said, this is how I hold my wooden handle. Oops. Okay, so yarn over your hook through that next stitch, your hook through the wooden handle, grab that yarn, okay, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, I need to tighten that though. The first one is always the harder one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. There you go. And then just continue until you reach the next stitch marker. Okay, last stitch. this row for not row but for this wooden handle so now just continue on without including the handle with your double crochet in each chain until you reach the other end okay I'll be right back all right last stitch All right, single or not single crochet, but slip knot, slip stitch into the first double crochet. All right, and we are done. So now we'll just go ahead and snip off, snip off the ribbon, okay, and just tie off. Okay. Now all we need to do is weave in the um, the ends and then do the finishing touches. Tapestry needle here and just go ahead and weave in. Here we go, this is the end product. Um, there's a few um, finishing touch I wanna do, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to add my um, leather uh, tag here. Let's see which side I want it on. Probably I want it, okay, I'm gonna want it this side. Okay, so wherever you want it, you can always put it here or here. I, I put it to the side right here. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of the grommets on. Okay, 
okay, make sure I know where to go. Put it through an opening, like so. Make sure it folds over nicely, and it does. And then, of course, take the other grommet, the female one, <laughs> and pose it together. It should click. See? Perfect. All right, that's one thing. And then this is also optional. This is the gold um, chain that I bought from Amazon. Okay, like I said, I will link the ones that I bought from Amazon on into the description field in case you want that. Unless you want some other type of chain, you know, it's up to you, you know, your preference. But this is what I have. Oh, this is the shorter one, so I might not use this, but uh, if I do, this would be solely, this is more of like a shoulder length. Um, the other one I have is more um, longer, so it's more crossbody. But this one is more like shoulder, okay? So I'm still going to use it because it's really cute. And if you're not using the chain, it will be a good look just as a, uh, you know, just to make it, uh, embellish it, you know? That's what I meant. Sissy! <laughs> All right, so... I'm going to hook it in on one end, okay, like so, and then make sure it's not twisted, and put it on the other end. Oh my gosh, this is how it looks. It's so adorable. All right, I'm going to zoom out real quick. Okay, I'm all zoomed out, and look at this. It's so adorable. And I actually do like the shorter length for the shoulder. This is really cute. I'll link both. I have the longer one, and then this is the shorter one, obviously. Um, I'll just so that you can see how it looks. But this is so adorable. And look. It's a perfect bag. It's very versatile, I think. You can always change out the um, the strap for anything else, like if you want a leather strap or whatever you want, nylon strap. But I like the gold, it kind of goes well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Um, I'll try to see if I can write the pattern and post it in the description field if I can. And uh, that's it. Um, if you guys do like it, please follow me on Instagram and share your um, projects with me as well. That'd be great. But uh, please enjoy your day and I will talk to you later. Thank you and have a blessed day.